Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. In this video, I will be building a Christmas tree kit. And uh, I've bought it from Banggood, and let me switch to the page. And they call it a DIY Star Effect 3D LED Decorative Christmas Tree Kit. And it was three euros or something. And I hope this Christmas tree kit better is better than the kit I did last year because that had all kinds of transistors and resistors which weren't clearly marked. This looks a lot simpler. It has one resistor, a switch, a microprocessor and one LED which I guess goes on the top and two color LEDs which I will test in a moment. Um, and before I start uh, I've, I've heard some subscribers say your desk is very reflective and I know I, 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 I've, I'm already looking for a new desk, new background uh, and I've been looking anywhere and anything which will do but I cannot find anything. So if you have any tips on, on what I can put on my desk to make it less reflective and create a better background, let me know. I've been looking into cutting mats so to see uh, uh, if I can use that one, but they're all green and I don't want to use a green one. I want to use a gray one because green, yeah, this is just a, a color and I want it to be neutral. So let's see what color LED this is. This is these are the red ones. Then I guess these must be blue. Correct. Right. Um, so let's see. Let's. I think it is a good idea to mount the two halves or three parts together first. Uh, there are there is a marking on there. There's a marking on there and on there of course. And these are the same. I've already checked that. They are these are identical. So my guess is that these two markings belong to each other. This one goes on there like that. And this one goes on there just like that. Easy enough. And these are the normal bent header pins we, we see in all the other projects, but they're joined together. So let's see if I can cut them first. Now I have two parts of four pins. Hmm. Let's put these in there. Just all the way down and see if this this will fit in there. No, not really. So this will be the way. Um, gonna gonna do one pin first. Uh, put some solder over there. Let's clean the iron and just do one pin. All right, one pin done. Now, if this fits, which I do not suspect it will, but now it fits with a bit of, bit of tension, which is nice, which will hold it in place. And is this the exact center? I believe it was until I started moving it around. This looks good. Looks very good. Uh, let's see. If I that's that's not. Let's see if we can move it without touching it, without moving the two plates. And now, sorry for the sudden jump, but my wife just came into the room. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I had to pause the video. Let's see. That looks okay. It is in a 90 degree angle, so that's okay too. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder the opposite pin of which, which I did earlier. And it is still in a 90 degree angle. It's still 
in the center, so that's good. I'm gonna do the other pins wait until they're uh, solid again and now fix the last one again which would remove any tension if there's if there is any and those are good so now let's put it on there like like I did before hmm not working out so far oh and I moved it how how did I move it it's okay all right Please stay in there. Come on. Now I have to do the middle pins, of course, which is a little hard. Now let's see if it is okay. And it is okay-ish. And there's some flux. So that is okay. Let's do the other side and um, can do it like that. Do the exact same way and uh, gonna speed up the video because, uh, well, like I said before, this is in one of my other videos. This will probably be very boring. And uh, since it is uh, almost two weeks until Christmas, why not let add some uh, Christmas music? While you wait, while you look at the video. And, and all the music comes from uh, um, Kevin McLeod. I don't know if, if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, Incompetact.com, uh, which is uh, free available for everyone uh, as long as you provide. Uh, the credits in the description of the video or, or anywhere you use this is music and I think that it is that is very generous of, of, of Kevin and, and his site uh, and he has some, some wonderful music which is uh, free for me to use so that's uh, I'm very thankful for that I, I like it a lot so let's uh, let's jump ahead Right, so the Christmas tree is sitting together, the plates are mounted together, still sound loose, but okay. And we have two pins on the top for the top of the tree, but which one is positive and which one is negative? So I was thinking I'll trace the positive or negative uh, from there. But they are not touching. And are there any pins going to the top? Must be. One on there. And the other one on there. All right. So I will have to find out. I'll, I'll do this last as, as last so that I can actually see. Um, where the positive and negative goes. For now, let's mount the processor on there. It is a small STC microprocessor. All right, double check that the notch, that it is in the correct position. And it is right now. That's a terrible soldering, but it is sitting in place. And I'm going to do the opposite pin. 
and double check if it is still sitting in place correctly and it is and so I'm gonna add a little bit of solder on that terribly soldered pin and I probably should clean my iron a little bit more and I can do the rest of the pins there is one position for the resistor which is over here and there's only one resistor so that makes it very easy Let's see if we can pull it through and this is actually the first time ever that I even would prefer a blue resistor because it is very low contrast uh, with the green so yeah a beige uh, resistor would not, not have looked as nice as this one Or beige, I don't know how you pronounce that exactly in English, but beige or beige. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> um, let's see, there's a switch. Goes on here probably. Polarity probably doesn't matter because it is either in an off or on state and, well, Let me double check. That doesn't matter. All right. It looks messy, but uh, soldering the two parts together it makes it a little bit har harder to solder this. So, and here is a SMD component, and uh, let's see if it. Oh. <clears throat> So this is a micro USB. Uh, plug for, for, for power, but there are two leads, the most left and the most right. Oh, all right. Now it is, it is snapping in place. So that is nice. Um, let me get this tool. My helping hand. Oh, I'm touching some wires. I hope the camera was not too uh, wobbly. Oh, and my uh, watch charger was connect, uh, sticking to it because it is magnetic. I hope this will hold it in place. And I'm, con I'm, I'm using this because. When I am going to solder it on it, it, it probably will get, no, well, not probably, it will get very hot. And I want, don't want to burn my hand, so. Well, that already did the trick. Uh, for one side. Um, There's just a blob of solar on there. Right. Now the two outer pins. Let's hold this in there, on there. Like that. A uh, little bit more like that, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Gonna take a thinner solder. Uh, 
All right, so that will probably do the trick. And if it doesn't work, there are pads for mounting another 5 volt power supply in there. So let me get this 0.6 millimeter solder out of the way. It's time for the LEDs, the most boring part of this entire video. And these were the red ones and these were the blue ones. So I start with the blue ones and I'm going to add the blue ones on top. And after that, I'm going to add the blue ones on every bottom. So one, two, three, four circles of blue ones. And they are marked. And let's see. You can actually see there is a flat side on the uh, on the LED which is the short pin so the flat side is the negative and the round side is the positive I'm gonna fit them on there and then bend them over like that at least that's the idea and then I need solder then I, now I, I'm going to need three hands actually, but I do not have three hands. Now that's on there, that's the first LED and I'm going to do all the other ones the exact same way I did this one. So let's, uh, let's again speed up the video. <laughs> Now the blue ones are in place, have one spare, which is nice, and this is the top one, and uh, let's do the red ones, put the blue one over here, so I cannot mistake it, for a red one, and uh, yeah, they just go all the same, and like you just saw, probably uh, I put them in there, uh, bend them over and they stay in place that's just because I put them a little bit too far in and then bend them over so that the bottom of the LED touches the circuit board and then it's, it just stays in place so I can do three or four at the same time takes a bit of force um, it actually may damage the LED of course uh, but that is no problem and these uh, these pins of the red LEDs are a little bit thicker because uh, I, well I have enough diffused red LEDs in stock to uh, to fix this in case uh, in case I break one it's no problem but if you do not be extra careful Now, 
Will it work? Let's see. Connect this on there. Doesn't do anything, but we do have a switch. And one side lights up. And dims down, and now the other side. Oh, that's, that's nice. All the LEDs uh, work. But why is it doing side by side? Is it just uh, one of the one of its functions? Will it start doing other things? I just want it to lit all and and red and the reds and the blues and maybe it does some other things when I give it another. Yeah, when I restart it, it it goes into other patterns. Restarting it by like this is probably faster. Now what is this? But I forgot one thing. Top one. These are are these not working? Well I've seen them work. Yeah they, they do. It's just a weird pattern. So let's see. Does this go in? Yeah this is the correct position. So let's remove it from the power. Bend it over like that and uh, add a tiny bit of solder on there right oh my USB cable is still plugged in doesn't help so is the uh, the top LED is it always powered on or is it does it go with the patterns? Let's see. Looks like it's always powered on. It is, uh, let's actually get this to a little bit close to the camera and dim the lights a little bit. So that's... Uh, yeah, nice patterns, but... but they do not match the tree, although I, I I like that it is trying. One side, other side. I think I like this one best so far. Well, at least the kit is working uh, on the first try, so that's that's also nice, and uh, yeah. Um, it's of course it is going to be in my giveaway in about 50 subscribers when I reach the 1000 subscribers never thought that I would get this far but uh, not only I did it you did it mainly because <laughs> I did not subscribe to my own channel um, so yeah it will be in the giveaway and I hope that it will be the, in 2017 uh, the 1000 subscriber limit if it is uh, yeah this Christmas tree will be on the giveaway and all the other things I built last year will be on there too. So for now, uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice Christmas. Have a nice and Merry Christmas and a very wonderful and good 2018. Thanks for watching.